So do the same. Every day this is a walk that I do and when Hugo is staying with me and we're working in the London studio that we do together and it's just full of inspiration. It's about kind of really observing and looking around you and seeing kind of these incredible moments, hidden moments of the city. I think for me it's just finding those small, tiny areas which um, vegetation wildlife has inhabited and you can start to see nature recolonising spots. It's just amazing how yeah, resilient nature is and how it can recolonise areas of the urban environment. Today we are in our London studio. Yes, yeah, so this one is um, on Vine Street, right next to the, the canal uh, in East London. So basically, at the moment, there's an upstand wall. In terms of working together, what really drew us to each other, we had this amazing opportunity to sort of professionally date over three years where we worked informally together. And that then we decided we'd professionally move in when we decided to merge the practices. But you don't do that with just anyone. And I think what you have to have is shared values. You have to have fun at work. And I think actually what underpins all of this is a really good friendship. Yeah, we're probably on the phone to each other way more than we are with our partners, aren't we? Yeah. He's my work wife. <laughs> <laughs> Our approach is really, rather than trying to impose a design style, it's really looking at the nature of the landscape we're working on and um, understanding its history, its geology, its background. On our walk to work every day to the studio, we walk past this heavy-duty sheet piling which is holding back um, the sides of the canal. But we just love that dark metal finish contrasting with the green and how it's just really honest, it's really honest material and, and just reflects so well to this urban environment. We really fundamentally believe that green space should be as important in infrastructure as travel and transport and water and power. And increasingly in this time of kind of climate change, that we all have a role, we can all do things, you know, whether that's um, putting plants in our garden, in our front gardens, or by verges, or coming together as a community or as developers and committing to really meaningful green spaces but it's about these incredibly valuable connecting corridors. So we've come to Cody Dock, which is a pocket park and a shared community garden in the heart of Newham in London. Hawthorne. Yeah. Hazel. Oh, this garden is this little pocket of green being surrounded by development. There's 55,000 homes being built in the next five years. And so this little space here is, is the haven for, for people and wildlife to escape that development and that infrastructure. And that's what we're trying to do with our Chelsea garden, is to show how these small little forgotten spaces can be created into beautiful um, shared gardens for people to escape the urban, urban atmosphere. So the intention of the Chelsea garden is to create this shared green space that's a haven for people and wildlife, very much like this space is here in East London. So the garden we've designed for Chelsea is a pocket park garden. So to reflect that, we have a couple of entrances here on the long side and another one here. So a number of ways in. Um, you've got these, you can see these large three trees here, beautiful nine metre nissa. And with luck, they'll be turning a fantastic scarlet. You never know. And you can see those because obviously connection with nature isn't just about planting for us in this garden space. You know, so the materials are just as important. We've seen pipes coming out of buildings, from gutters, from past industrial uses, and just various materials that often just you have that just to show that this is past industry. So we've reimagined these materials and we've repurposed them in the garden. So with the, the pipes that you see on the building to create this pipe sculpture which runs through the garden, it reconnects the wall, the facades, the ground, and it winds its way through the trees. And then from other things like the sheet piling that we've seen on the sides of the canal, we've used that to create um, parts of our boundary wall and it's really like a dark coloured backdrop to help the nature and our silver leaf trees shine in front of that. We are so excited to be back at Chelsea. I think it's fair to say we're also a little bit nervous, would you not yeah, say? Yeah, yeah we are. And um, it will be the largest show garden that either of, us, either of us have ever done. Absolutely no pressure. But then Chelsea wouldn't be Chelsea. It's meant to be a challenge. 
and it really is. There you go, Charlotte, what a fantastic arm. Oh. You know, it's a community space. I can see it populated with people connecting with the planting, the beautiful planting and nature right in the heart of the city. Oh. Um, are you pleased with, with how it's turned out? Yeah, thanks, Joe. We're really, really delighted with it. And it really was important to us to talk about shared spaces, public spaces in towns and cities really where we need the most. And we designed this garden really before the pandemic, but the pandemic only made the sort of idea of it feel more relevant. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, okay, what's your favourite part of it? You're always going to have a favourite part of your show garden. Hugo, you get to go first. Yeah, you want to um, I think the favourite part of this garden for me is actually the numerous little pockets for seating and how each one is anchored with like, this beautiful oak, solid oak furniture. Um, and there's you know a large one here that two or three people could sit on, yet further back in the garden there's like a little boulder just for one person yeah. um, with lots of little detailed planting around it. So for me, yeah, it's the numerous opportunities for people to get and sit. Yeah, yeah. The little pockets of areas to sit in. Yeah, we, just, we sort of designed that so that people could have a coffee with a friend or have a time on their own and a moment to reflect. But for me, I really love, so the pipework sculpture, which we've been asked about a lot, which we've designed with Andrew McMullen, um, kind of weaves through the garden and I think it frames the different spaces really beautifully. The planting, I think, really, we wanted to do something that celebrated autumn and then this pipework sculpture that connects it. The planting is just fabulous. It feels like it's been here forever and it's like a snapshot in time, but it's also going to live on. Yeah. You know, some Chelsea gardens are like, bang, chucking everything that's flowering now, but it's just got so much depth to it. It's, it's absolutely stunning. And there's a bit of bling as well. Well, it's Chelsea, Joe. <laughs> exactly. You've got, to have a, you've got to have a bit of sparkle for Chelsea. When else are you going to do it? <laughs> we were never going to put um, running silver in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was nice to have water. I think it's just so cohesive as a space. And you've got a gold medal between you. It's your first <laughs> joint medal together, yeah, right? Yeah, it was, yeah. It's um, such a fantastic feeling. Yeah, it's a really yeah. wonderful moment. Um, we're so delighted. And also had some really lovely comments from people. Um, you know, this is a garden that was meant to be here for May 2020 and May 2021, and now we're here and we're all really happy to be back at Chelsea. And is it going to go? Is it going to live on this garden somewhere? Anyway? Yeah, it is. So we're working with Backside Open Spaces Trust. It will be located in Southwark, um, and it will be a publicly accessible park. And that we felt that that was really, really important um, in kind of how we looked at the space. We've all our gardens have been relocated, and we we feel that's kind of central to it. Um, Fantastic. Yeah, yeah and I just, I just think I'd say that, you know, the gold medal is so fantastic, but actually, like, there's probably about 100 people behind the scenes that have helped yeah. us, like, yeah. bring this garden together, so I think it's just such oh, a... We know, we know it's not just you two. <laughs> yeah. But listen, congratulations, wonderful garden. Enjoy the week. Thanks, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Away from Main Avenue, the artisan gardens, with their emphasis on traditional materials and methods, might be smaller, but they're no less ambitious. Arid 